Jason <coughs> Pinkston. Uh, he wants to know if we have a recommendation for a jacket type to wear with a kilt in casual day settings. I think Jason might have asked this on the, on the group, but um, the basic answer is anything. We have personal favorites, which we need to go into. Casual that. day settings. Jacket and casual, depending on your definition of casual, is, you know, different. Um, so the, the general answer is tweed. What I think he's trying to That's elicit like what we from call us. nice day wear. <coughs> yeah, smart day wear. Yeah, smart um, day wear. Thank you. What I think he's trying to allude to is like, is there a linen jacket or something like that? Mm -hmm. um, not really. Um, and I, I would say it from this angle. <clears throat> um, the In Scotland, it's a colder temperature. It's, you know, Pennsylvania and, and higher. They don't have a ton of, you know, heat waves over there. Um, they did last year, but not many. Um, so... For the most part, the, the cloth that they use is wool or cotton or that kind of thing. Um, linen to a degree, but not really for outerwear necessarily. So it's not usually done, or I haven't really seen it done in a in a jacket for a kilt in linen specifically. Hmm. Um, but a a tweed is the majority of what I'd say, or a or a, a lighter colored barathea or like the the, the thornproof fabric from our gray Braemar jacket and vest. Um, something a little bit lighter colored. So if you're outside in the summer, you know, sun beating down on you, it's not going to be like black and, you know, absorb the heat. Yeah. Um, so that's, again, but again, that's, I feel that's the smart day wear category. Um, I think a tan or a light brown or, you know, or brown uh, Berthia jacket could be an option for, you know, it'd be, it'd be dangerous to play with. It would have to be uh, custom, for, though. It wouldn't. It, there yes, wouldn't it would anything, have to be custom. But there's not anything idea. out there off the shelf right now, ready to go. I call them up and say, "Send me one that it's going to exist." Mm -hmm. It would be a new thing that we would. There be are no. Creating. There are no seersucker kilt jackets. Um, but casual, casual, sky's the limit. Um, we usually recommend going with a shorter cut casual jacket, like uh, an Ike jacket. An Ike jacket is a classic. Um, we both like bomber jackets. We both we both have that going on. In fact, if you see a couple of our commercials, you'll see us wearing those in the commercials. I think I've got a bomber jacket on in the one commercial, and you've Ike. got the Ike. Um, those look awesome. You know, it's uh, anything with a slightly shorter cut uh, is going to look good with a kilt. So, Shows off more of the kilt. Yeah. Period. Yeah. I mean, a leather jacket, a lot of leather jackets will look fine with a kilt. Um, yeah. It's basically, you don't have to be that limited. What's the, uh, I'm trying to think of the, uh, the jacket. The Merc jacket, or something. is it called Merc jacket? A British yeah. style. Um, it's like shorter, usually have plaid insides, um, like Royal Stewart or whatever. Um, I don't know. Is it Merc? Is it the brand name? Are you thinking like I the forget. mod, kind of like the mod, like the mod the look? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I don't know the, I don't remember the the name for it. Which okay, dry is gonna. Drive when we crazy, when we but, do this, we'll put yeah, up an image right here. Look, this jacket. Woo! There you go, Coraline and Eric. Play with that. But um, uh, yeah, there's um, any of those things will work fine. Yeah. Just a, a slightly shorter cut is good. Bomber. Mm -hmm.